we are discussing national cultures and in this topic we are going to discuss the dimension of individualism versus collectivism individualism collectivism is something which we have discussed minutely uh, here and there in different uh, topics but in this topic we are going to look at its minute dimensions and detailed description um an individualistic culture is generally characterized by a a high value placed on one's independence sabse zyada important baat jo individualistic culture mein hai wo ye ke log independent rehna pasand karte hain wo kisi pe depend nahi karna chahte aur wo ye nahi chahte ke log unke upar depend kare second thing is a high value placed on autonomy autonomy means having the discretion to make your own decisions and do your own work so autonomy is preferred in individualistic cultures then a high value placed on privacy people do not want others to encroach upon their private lives their private space so they don't want them to talk about their personal issues or to come and visit their home and come unannounced uh, so the uh, value is placed on privacy then in in, a, in an individualistic culture there is a high value placed on a belief in one's own worth so people believe that they are worthy of being treated well of being treated fairly of being treated independently they don't have to depend on other unko kisi se sifarish karane ki zarurat nahi hai unko kisi ka reference lane ki zarurat nahi hai unke apne andar itni ability hai aur confidence hai ke wo they, they can make a mark and they can make their own worth so belief in one's own worth is there in individualistic culture and confidence in one's own ideas and opinions so people are not affected by the opinion of other people unko koi kya keh raha hai ya koi unke bare mein kya baat kar raha hai they are not affected by that they are confident ki jo unke ideas hain jo unke opinions hain jo unka style hai wo theek hai aur wo apne liye unke liye theek hai it doesn't matter and they don't care what other people are thinking about that because they are confident about their own thinking so uh, on all these dimensions according to macfarlane an individualistic person is someone who who is at the center of his or her own world so an individual uh, an individualistic person is at the center of his own world he or she is the most important person in the world and uh, he has to make decisions on his own and is confident that he can make the decisions on his own and is independent to make the decisions on his own so that kind of a mindset when that occurs collectively in a culture in a society then that is that culture becomes an individualistic culture on the other hand in the collectivist group a uh, culture the group to which a person belongs for example the family or the community or even the work organization that is the center of his or her world so in collectivist culture for example pakistani culture is a collectivist culture so you would be hearing this kind of statements ke family sabse important cheez hai ya ye ke in japanese culture even the work organization that is uh, a part of your of of your in group and that is considered to be a close um, uh, you know influence on how you behave and uh, that is the center of uh, his of, of your world uh, so it, so here in a collectivist uh, culture people put their group's interest before their own so for example in pakistani culture we say ke family uh, ko jo hai wo sabse zyada importance hai to family ke liye insaan kuch bhi sacrifice kar sakta hai bachcho ke liye aap kuch bhi sacrifice kar sakte hain aap apne interest ko sacrifice kar sakte hain aap apni uh, freedom ko sacrifice kar sakte hain even aap apni independence ko sacrifice kar sakte hain and then people you know they sacrifice their entire uh, entire lifetimes earnings ke bachcho ko padha 
دیں ان کی شادی کر دیں ان کے ان کے لیے بچا کے رکھیں یو نو دیر سو مینی تھنگز ان آر پاکستانی کلچر دیٹ آر دیٹ شو دیٹ پاکستانی کلچر میں فیملی کو سب سے زیادہ امپورٹنس دی جاتی ہے ایون ایف یو نو دا سیکریفائز ہیز ٹو بی ڈان ایون ایف اٹ اینٹیلس سیریس پرسنل سیکریفائسز سو دا گروپ انٹرسٹ کمز بفور ایون ایف اٹ کمز ایٹ دا کاسٹ آف پرسنل سیکریفائسز سو دیٹ ہیپنز ان دا کلیکٹیوسٹ کلچر سو ان انڈیویجولسٹک کلچر امپلائیز آرگنائ امپلائی آرگنائزیشن ریلیشن شپ دیٹ آر ہیلڈ ڈفرنٹلی ویئر ایز ان کلیکٹیوسٹ کلچر امپلائی آرگنائزیشن ریلیشن شپ دے آر ہیلڈ ڈفرنٹلی سو ان این انڈیویجولسٹک کلچر دا ریلیشن شپ بٹوین دا امپلائی اینڈ دا آرگنائزیشن از مور آف اے کانٹریکچل نیچر دیٹ از دا امپلائی آفرز دیئر لیبر اینڈ دے آر پیڈ فار اے سیلری Uh, then employees, especially lower level worker em- employees, they do not work beyond the daily office hours. And uh, uh, if they work beyond the daily office hours, they are paid over time. Um, and then uh, employee company relationship does not spill over to their private lives. These two are completely separate lives and people live separately in their lives. So it doesn't matter what you do in your private life, uh, what you do in your organizational life. That is something which is completely separate and does not spill over to your home life or to your private life. So that happens in the individualistic cultures. Whereas in the collectivist culture, the employee workplace relationship is something which is emotional as well as contractual. Contract to hai, lekin collectivist culture mein employees apni emotions bhi jo hain, wo apni emotions apni workplace ke andar invest karte hain. So there is lesser boundary between private and professional life. So it is blurred. So aapki private life or professional life, they are mixed and kind of blurred. So your employees, your, your co-workers, they are kind of your family. family friends and uh, you you invite them at your place and uh, you mix together and you go for family get togethers and they're kind of a part and parcel of your life so people who are your co-workers a part of are uh, are a part of your private life as well and that is i mean uh, uh, that has positive influences as as well as that has negative influences that people are always looking at what you are doing in your private life and you do not have any privacy to uh, uh, have your own um, life and then in such kind of collectivist culture the superior is not just a manager Uh, but could be a father or mother figure to seek advice from or to get guidance from. Uh, even in, in, for example, in Japanese culture, which is a highly collectivist culture and in which the organization or the workplace that is considered to be a part of your group as well, a part of your in-group as well. Whereas in Pakistan, the organization or the workplace is not that much of that in-group. So in Japan, even... Uh, in, in the organization, if you are facing some kind of troubles in your private life or you are facing some kind of loan or debts, the manager that is going to come to your rescue, that is not just going to sit there and give you some piece of advice or that person would do something actually to get you out of that trouble. All right. So and then uh, in a collectivist culture, uh, employees are prepared to work beyond the official working hours if required. And that is also that ha- happens without uh, expectation for an overtime or an expectations for something extra. So people show OCB or organizational citizen behavior, uh, citizenship behaviors a lot more in the collectivist cultures. Uh, but over here, it is very important to make the distinction between the in-group and the out-group. Uh, some, in some cultures, the workplace or the organization is considered to be a part of your in-group. So in-group are closer emotionally and for which one is willing to pay, uh, is willing to offer a great deal of loyalty and personal sacrifices and the size of in group the numbers involved and the kind of people who are in it that vary from culture to culture so in some cultures only the family is the in group so you are ready to sacrifice and give a great deal of effort to only your family 
but uh, in some cultures then and then what how the family is defined in some cultures the family is uh, you know the 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 close the father mother and the siblings only but in some cultures then the extended family is also considered to be a part of your in groups so or uncles or aunts nana nani dada dadi bhuppi taya chacha ye sab relationships जो हैं हमारे कल्चर में इनके नाम हैं आपको मिलते फॉर एग्ज और और ये शो करते हैं कि ये आपके लिए एक इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट हैं आपकी सोशल कल्चर का वेर एज इन वेस्टर्न कल्चर देर इज़ द सिंगल वर्ल्ड आंट अंकल एंड कज़न सो इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर दैट इज़ अ पर्सन द पर्सन इज़ आप वो वो आपके चचा हैं या ताया हैं वो अंकल ही हैं या वो खालू हैं या पुप्पा हैं वो अंकल ही हैं सो दैट काइंड ऑफ अ डिफरेंस is reflected in the words that you use for that in group so in pakistan the in group is um, is wider and then in for example japanese culture the in group is again even more wider so it is family as well as the work life uh, so in pakistani culture the workplace is not considered to be that much of an in group so you do not take care of your employees and your workplace members the way you take care of your family but in japanese culture you take care of your employees like their or their like your own children and like your own you know uh, very close uh, kith and kin so that varies so uh, if the workplace is considered to be an in group then the persons will be ready to make the sacrifices for the workplace and uh, if that is considered to be an out group even if uh, the culture is collectivist for example in pakistan uh, iran or um, uh, such kind of um, uh, in, in india that is even even the culture is collectivist people they give, they give a lot of importance to their in groups but because the organization is not considered to be in group that is why uh, the um, sacrifice level or the emotional attachment of people is not that high as it is there in for example the japanese culture so uh, uh, the culture varies on two dimensions individualistic and collectivist dimension and then what mediates the effect of uh, individualism or collectivism is what and what is the size and the extent of the in group to which you consider to be a collectivist part of your uh of your social circle uh, so that is how uh, the distinction is made uh, between organizational dynamics that uh, that happen in different kind of cultures so in pakistani culture although it is a collectivist culture but because work uh, uh, your organization is not a part of the in group you will not expect people to be uh, highly emotionally evolved or ready to make sacrifices for the organization so that distinction that needs to be made uh, so that has got um, some very important implications for the human resource manager who is uh, working in uh, who's trying to manage different type of cultures